Oh, hey, folks. So what we're going to do is we made this contraption right here. Corn? <laughs> you ate one of them? Go, 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 go. I'm going to be watching Corella. Now, with all of that done, here is the final result. We're on our way to, to get a haircut. Just for reference again, this is what my hair looks like now. And, and here's the haircut. Next up, we got to pick up the props. So that's where we're going next. <laughs> So right now we're making a video for Disney Plus. I'm really excited for this one because we made a contraption specifically for this video. And I'll go show you guys what that is right now. Oh, hey folks. Okay, <laughs> let's try again. Here's what we have going on. So what we're gonna do is we made this contraption right here. A little plunger looking handle, popcorn container, this metal rim right here. And we're gonna, we're gonna glue popcorn to the top of this. There's gonna be coffee in, in here already. And we're basically gonna pull this guy down. We'll reverse the clip so it starts with coffee, ends up with the popcorn, and it's gonna be magical. And then we're gonna comp that in with the actual popcorn container, which will be full of popcorn. We might wanna shoot this part in slow motion, get some really crazy action shots. You know what I'm saying? Really? Just like, see me closing the lid. Okay, right now I'm threading together some popcorn. Oh, stab myself. Oof. You gotta glue them together, and then glue. okay, he, this guy's onto something. All right, let's see what let's see what holds. Hey, we got some winners. Ah, two out of twenty. Yeah, popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> you, you ate one of those. You all eat that. You ready? Yeah, go. Go 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 go. More 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 more. Good good good. good. Action. It's probably gonna leak a little bit of coffee from the bottom. Oh, it's so hot on my go, hands. Try to go as slow as you can. Did somebody grab me a mitt real quick, real quick. Is it working? Keep it going. Uh, I think it's as slow as it goes. Ah, uh, burns. I was like grabbing it and I was like, ah! <laughs> All right, three, two, one, action. You feel good? Oh uh, no. He said we. I was like, yes. That was pretty good. Let's go! And now we're gonna go outside, do the second take. Um, yeah. All right. Come on! Okay, Quinn, you ready? Right? Oh, yeah, Quinn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> go, go, go. Action. You ready to go? I just need a minute. Okay. Thanks, man. Oh, that is the one. Oh, that feels good. So we're at the cafe right now for the last shot of this video. This should wrap it up nicely. I'm gonna be watching Corella right here on this laptop. And it's gonna be a good time. Let's get it. And then you would come back here over the top. That's the hardest part. And that concludes everything on set. And now we're at post-production working on the edit itself. First thing we have to do. Are you coming? Okay, so we had to get from this coffee cup at the cafe location to this bucket of popcorn here at my house. And as you know, we did the whole drainage effect where there was popcorn and the coffee and we pulled it under, and reversed the clips, yada, yada, yada. So you could still see the popcorn at all times. To solve that, I went ahead and made this solid layer right here that sits directly on top. That represents the coffee. Using fractal noise like this, I'm actually trying to kind of mimic the popcorn kind of seeping through the coffee. The popcorn comes through in a more organic way. Here's what that looks like by itself. There we go. Put that shot all together of the popcorn coming out of the coffee. I made it a 3D layer and it doesn't want to work. What the heck? It's actually frozen. We'll do push-ups in the meantime. That's enough push-ups for today. So I went ahead and made it a 3D layer. I placed it on top of the real popcorn. I have it fading out into the popcorn that's really in the bowl. Using Mocha Pro, I went ahead and tracked all the different screens and successfully, for the most part, got them on. Don't use that. For the second shot where I grab my phone and start watching it, I want that to start in the living room with the TV. Uh, and so I went ahead and cut my hand out from the original shot and then I rotoscoped it out. There it is. And I animate the TV shot to match my phone so that when my hand grabs it, I can fade to the phone shot 
and it's lined up. Pretty happy with that one. For this next transition from the phone to the laptop, and you'll see that over the next few frames, I have it growing in size until it's the size of my laptop. Beautiful, isn't it? Now with all of that done, here is the final result. You ready to go? Yeah, one more minute. Okay. And that's the final video. So um, all in all, pretty fun project, gotta say. I had so much help on this one. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, my wife, Karina. Thank you. Quentin can't leave him out because he's a nice guy and all. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and um, stick around. Nope. What do I want to say? Until next time, see you later. Until. Ah!